Three places you should never swim. One of the rivers that you should never set foot in is Bubbly Creek, located in Chicago. In the 1900s, American meatpacking companies drained their waste into this creek, which caused really toxic fumes due to the decomposition of animal organs and blood. Not even a fish could survive in this creek. In Thailand, there's one area that causes concern called the Sam Mason Hole. It's a really deep underwater cave, which causes bad visibility for whoever swims there. So unless you want to get lost in the sea, I don't recommend swimming there. The last place is called the Amazon Basin in South America. It's drained by the Amazon River and has lots of predatory animals, like caimans, barracudas, piranhas, and deadly candiru fish, which is attracted by urine and can get into your urinary tract and cause a lot of pain. This man thought he was using a rock as a doorstop, but you won't believe what it actually is. In 1988, David Muzrik was looking for a farm to buy. He found one that interested him, so he went to take a look at it. As the property owner gave him a tour, out of everything in the house, he was most intrigued by a rock that was being used as a doorstopper. The owner said that one night when he was a kid, he saw it fall from the sky. So in the morning, him and his dad went to get it. But there's no proof so he just had to go with what the owner said. He decided to buy the property and kept using it as a door stopper. His kids even brought it to school for show and tell. But in 2018, lots of people found small meteorites in their backyard of Michigan and they were turning them in for a lot of money. So David thought about how much he could get for his big one. But he didn't know if it was real or not. So he found someone to examine it and they found out that it contained 88% iron but also 12% nickel which is mostly found in meteorites. It turned out to be the sixth largest meteorite in Michigan but he still hasn't decided whether he wants to sell it or not. Fake beggars who got caught. A man in Colombia pretended to have a leg injury so people would give him money. He collected about $200 from people driving by, but one day the police offered to help him with medical equipment, but he refused. So they looked into it and it turns out he was lying. A beggar in China pretended to have two legs amputated. He moved around in this little vehicle where he crawled with his hands. But one day a man took off his pants to expose him and it turned out he had both legs. Five years ago, a pregnant woman from America who begged for money every day on the streets with her child was caught after someone taking a picture of her driving a Mercedes Benz. And while she counted the money with a smile on her face. Secret places hidden in famous locations part 2. In the Statue of Liberty there's a small room located inside the torch but no one can enter it because that part was damaged by the Germans in 1916 and although it was prepared they don't allow people in it as a safety precaution. Mount Rushmore is famous for the four sculpted faces of previous American presidents but behind them is a secret vault. Inside are different historical documents like the Declaration of Independence, the biography of the sculptor, and the history of the construction of the place but no one can access them. Inside Big Ben there's a hidden room by the bell tower and although it's no longer in use, it used to be used as a prison for people who breached the code of conduct. The Tower of London is one of the most famous fortresses in the world and home to the Yeoman Warders. And underneath it there's a pub that you can only enter if you were invited by one of them. Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the coast guard are then notified, while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. This evil dad cut off his daughter's hair without her permission. The girl's name is Kelsey, and her parents couldn't do anything together without arguing. So they eventually got a divorce, and a little while later, her dad married one of of his co-workers, which made Kelsey closer to her mother. She would always tell her mother how much she liked her friend's hair highlights. So the day before her birthday, her mom booked her a hair appointment to get highlights as well. She was so happy, but then the next day came around. She got the blonde highlights, then she went to her father's house. He was so angry because she changed her hair without asking him first. Her stepmom said that she deserved a punishment, then grabbed scissors and gave them to her dad. He then started cutting off all of her hair. She started crying, then stayed in her room for the next two days until her mom picked her up. Her mom was furious, then took these pictures and posted them on Facebook calling out her ex-husband. A local hairdresser saw the post and told her she would make her a custom wig. An investigation then took place and her dad and stepmom were arrested. Dumb inventions that people actually use. The hug me pillow was designed for people who miss their partners. Its shape stimulates half of the upper back of a human and an arm to cuddle with. One of the sillier inventions that are actually really popular are cutters. They make cutters for avocados, strawberries, bananas, and even boiled eggs. The egg cracker has become really popular. It's a pretty simple machine. You just place the egg inside, press the device, and it cracks the shell. The toothpaste dispenser is something that lots of people didn't know they needed until it came out. You just put your toothbrush in the open a little bit of toothpaste comes out and that's it. The ostrich pillow's design promises that you have a very comfortable nap. Basically you just put your head inside the pillow and depending on what position you're lying in you could also put your hands inside. 
five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like one of the thumbs from Spy Kids, but it's actually just a sausage hanging from string in front of a man. At first it looks like this bartender's wearing a dress, but it's actually just a giant mirror on the counter showing the customer. At first it looks like this rock is floating in the air, but it's actually in water and the sky's just reflecting off of it. At first it looks like this guy's a giant on the beach, but he's actually just balancing on a tightrope. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that makes your Snapchat score look like this and your Snap score look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, at first this just looks like a brick wall, but if you look close enough in the middle, you can see a cigar. Now comment below if you've seen the Star Wars character that I hit in the video. The dumbest criminals caught on camera. This guy from Queensland, Australia was trying to steal an ATM. He attached a chain to the back of a truck that he had stolen, then grabbed a hammer and smashed the glass door open. He then went inside and tied the chain to the ATM. He got back in the truck then drove away but he didn't realize that the chain had become unhooked. So a few minutes later, what did he do? He showed up to try again. But this time, he realized his chain was too short, so he gave up and left with nothing. How KFC was made from a gas station recipe. When Harlan Sanders was 6 years old, his father passed away, so his mother had to work while he took care of his siblings. In 1930, he got offered a job at the Shell Oil Company to manage a gas station. He quickly got the idea to make more money by making food for drivers passing through the gas station. His food, especially his fried chicken, became very famous. He came up with a technique to reduce the cooking time of the chicken, and also experimented with different spices until he got the flavor that he wanted. He then called it the secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. In 1950, he had to sell his place because of the construction of a new highway which decreased his customers, which decreased his sales, leaving him in debt. After this, he got the great idea to create the franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken. He drove around the country selling his recipe and preparation technique to different companies in exchange for 4 cents per one chicken sold. By 1963, there are more than 600 franchises throughout United States and Canada. And finally, when he was 73 years old, he sold his franchise to an investment group for what would be over $14 million today. Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. But this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 Ryu which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? This man swam in a cave but never returned and a few years later the police found out the shocking truth. After going through financial difficulty and being $50,000 in debt, Ben McDonald needed an escape from reality. He decided to go explore the caves at a nearby park called Vortex Spring. Even though a certificate was required to go cave diving, he jumped in the water in the restricted zone anyway. And two of the park employees seen him go into it, but he wasn't spotted at his house for the next two days. His truck was still parked outside of the park with his wallet in it, and none of his neighbors had seen him. The local authorities began a search and rescue in the entire park, but after weeks of searching they still hadn't found anything. So they called an expert cave diver named Ed Sorensen. The police were sure he would find his body because he was diving deeper than they had gone before. But he couldn't find anything and the case was classed as an unsolved mystery. Until a few years later when a park employee was mysteriously murdered. Apparently he had heard information about Ben's disappearance which was actually a murder. The reason why none of Ben's remains were found is because they were removed from the crime scene. And the two park employees were paid by someone to leave before Ben returned to the surface. Many people believe he was killed because he got into illegal activity trying to pay off his debt. The school bus that mysteriously disappeared. In 1976 in Chowchilla, California, 26 children between the ages of 5 and 14 were on their way home on the school bus when they were kidnapped along with the driver. Frederick Newhall Woods and brothers James and Richard Sconefeld came up with an evil plan because they didn't have much money. The school bus left at the same usual time but on the way, a van pulled up in front of them and inside were the three men with masks and guns. Once they got control of the bus, they drove for about 12 hours to a quarry 100 miles from Chowchilla. When they arrived, the kidnappers took out the hostages one by one and told them to climb down a ladder that apparently led to a buried trailer. They didn't have good ventilation so they were suffocating. And after 16 hours, the bus driver and the older boys piled up mattresses to get to the only place out. Then moved a metal lid the kidnappers had placed and dug to the surface managing to get out from underground. When they got to the surface, the three men were sleeping so it was an easy escape. And two weeks after the kidnapping, the three men were arrested. What's the first thing you see in this image? The first thing I saw was a skull, but the more I looked at it, the more I could see two ladies at a table. But it's actually neither one of them. It's actually a lady sitting at a table looking into a mirror. You can only subscribe if you knew that before I told you. Game show cheaters caught on live TV. Terry Nees perfectly guessed the price of a showcase on the TV show The Price is Right. 
He was the first person to ever guess the exact number in 38 years of the show. After studying the show for 4 months with his wife before going on it, they realized that every single price was in the exact same order on each show, so all they had to do was remember it. After making it all the way to the final round, Terry remembered that the showcase was around $23,000. He couldn't remember the last 3 numbers, but it didn't really matter. Because on the show, if you're close enough to the number, you still win. But he decided to fill in the last 3 numbers with his wedding date and his wife's birth month and it ended up being the exact price. After the show, he explained to the host how they memorized the pattern from each show. And after that, the show completely changed, so now all the prices are random to ensure that it doesn't happen again. But since Terry technically didn't break any of the rules, he got to keep the prize. You won't believe what this man actually did. Nico Jenkins is an American born on September 16th, 1986. At the age of 15, he stole a car and the cops caught him, and he was then sentenced to 7 years in prison. But because of his bad behavior, it ended up being 10 and a half years. After being released in 2013, not even a month had gone by before he turned from a thief to a murderer, committing four murders with a shotgun. He confessed to the murders during an interview with the police. He said the reason he executed them was done as a sacrifice to the ancient Egyptian god Apopis. In April 2014, he was found guilty of the four murders by a judge. He was also ordered to be put in a psychiatric hospital, but it didn't go through so he was treated by doctors in prison. In May 2017, he was sentenced to death and 450 years in prison by three judges. In 2020, his appeal was denied, and to this day, his death sentence hasn't been carried out.